Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments if you feel guided to. Um, so I recorded a couple of updates over the last two days. The last one was a divine love activation transmission. Um, but there's more to add also in regards to um, what I know some in the collective are at and I want to address and maybe help people to fully ignite, align with that frequency of true divine love, true divine self-love, which again um, has been a little bit or rather much being distorted within the collective consciousness through religion, 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 and um, spiritual teachings of where we think we need to be some saintly saint in order to be loved by God. Truly, this is all about like the, the main thing is we really, really judgment. Yeah, this is at the core of all separation. Um, I mean, I've talked about it in many of my other updates, um, plenty, many of my group calls. You know, there's one thing about studying, observing, putting all of the data to, to, together in order to discern something, whether it's good for you or not, or in general. And a whole other thing to be triggered by certain um, signs, symbols within the dream field, um, which is based on conditioning, belief systems, um, mind control programming that then make us believe that because we see or hear something, a word, a symbol, something that has been taught to us is supposed to be demonic or negative, that is creating the chism, the divides. This is where we externalize our own inner shadow aspects that are not being owned. We project them onto reality. Again, this is happening from or has happened from within the oneness and this is this has healed from within the oneness. This is all I have really truly been about of reconciling the split of the masculine and feminine energies and um, principles, the true new divine hierogamic androgynous divine union blueprint of the crystal Sophia of the divine masculine, the solar principles of the new divine masculine and feminine principles, the golden child fully rebirthed, okay? We can use many words for this. Many symbolisms. Um, the phoenix from the ashes rising of the old, okay? This is truly where you need to make peace, see the big picture with what has been in order to move into all new free worlds. worlds. Realities, quantum realities, because what everybody is now experiencing is very much down to the frequency you align with, which will always be the, ca the case. In the new divine organic creatrix, creatrix field, I can't speak anymore, truly, Jesus. So I'm gonna um, share a lot more in tomorrow's call, 137, that's the new preferred, truly. Tomorrow, as well as after the solstice, is massively highlighted in us bringing us all, all the way home. We can keep quantum leap and jump in any now moment. There is no time. Okay, time, space, distance, gravity is part of the old matrix creation, imagination construct that you need to let fully go of. So it's all about making fully peace with everything that has been. It truly happens from within the oneness where you forgive yourself, everyone else for the roles they played. You understand why, the big picture. This is what heals all. I've truly been trying to transmit this for the last, especially two, three, four years. And again, timelessly so. And, you know, others with me, but sadly, just like, you know, reality at large, 95% of spirituality and reality are fake. Inverted, reversed. Um, it's not really, really, truly helping you to ascend. Anyway, so I know my work, my videos, my calls really do help people if they really want to apply this, what I'm speaking about, not just listen, not just giving that power to me, thinking that if I say X, Y, Z is 
a quantum possibili possibility right now, always now. It's the only time that truly is. And I go and sit there like, hmm, let's see. Or are against what I'm speaking about. I mean, and then afterwards say like, ah, oh, yeah, but it didn't happen, did it? What are you feeding? What realities are you helping to co-create? This truly is the time to really become super conscious of that. So as for filling our true destiny, part of that will be, as I'm still getting ready, the new membership container. Um, I mean, so many exciting things happening in the background. I can't quite yet speak about, but I know it's like at a higher multidimensional level, what we're doing right now is, especially the people I'm connected with, is putting together our cosmic reunion party, um, hierogamic weddings of the one true beloved, the one true self, which is what will be the focus of our group call on the 8th. The details to sign up are below in the description box. Uh, the title is Creating Heaven and Earth, because truly this is going to be the major big one highlight and we could go into so many things. Um, there's a lot, a lot to cover, always. Um, read the description. Even if you don't take part, consider that because it is an activation, activation within itself. Everything I write, speak. Everything you write and speak is you speaking reality into existence. So anyway, um, on Saturday, if you can't take part live, which is obviously always preferred, but it's truly quantum, timeless, so timeless. All of everything we've been working on, especially within our magical group membership container of the Ascended Masterclasses over this last year, the Grey Lines truly coming back together, us reuniting the tribes from within the oneness, because we all hold these aspects, okay? All of creation is within you. We all hold all the codes we need and uh, to have access to within us so anyway on saturday we are going to do an activation and a group call to cover a lot of what i'm speaking about here right now um in more detail um some of the highlights will be what we're going to speak about is um how to access infinite quantum possibilities available to us now um, what would you create if anything was possible? What would you consider? How would you help lead, lead others back to their own true self and assist the collective shift in realities well underway? And why this is an important question to ask yourself at this time? Apologies for any uh, typos. I really proofread this three times. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Anyway. The importance of being in integrity and how we can ensure that we are aligned with our true north and how to maintain that. Why our biggest challenges, traumas and wounds also hold our greatest gifts, powers and the very thing we came to master and to help others to do to do the same, to return really to, to um, humanity, the consciousness. You know, the things we have the most problems with are the way the very things we have to master. And then this is the very thing we are actually really good at. And we're going to go more into this, into the call. So this is where we flip it all. Every negative into a positive, every positive has a negative. This is like, this is the pole and magnetic field shift back to true divine Christic order. The Yanun flows of eternal life. Okay, go beyond what you think is right, wrong, good, bad. You need to transcend all of this. And I, again, am here to help you do this. Look back on my other videos if you need some support. And again, also the group call coming up on the uh, 8th Saturday. I know this is very short notice, but I'm still juggling and surfing and everything is falling and popping into place in a more organized manner right now. But um, yeah, it's still falling into place. So thank you for your patience um, on further announcements. Again, the details for the group call, which will be super powerful, like the activations coming in on Saturday will be, again, th this is truly between now and the solstice, our full and final breakthrough liberation. 
us fully igniting, awakening all new free worlds, new ascension earth from inside of us. How quickly, how easy, how gracefully this goes is up to all of us, not just me here speaking. Okay? So I need to divine masculine to fully rise right now. Let go of all these false doubts, various fears, insecurities. This is why I also wanted to come online because somebody mentioned this at the last um, in one of the comments underneath my last uh, update about, you know, struggling. And, you know, I know all about struggle. I know all about clearing. I know all about going through the shit. Okay, but you need to just keep fucking going. All that gets you through is pure, full trust, surrender, faith in God. This is your true north. This is your navigational tool. That's the only thing you're going to have now. Okay? Just imagine. Beyond me or anyone speaking. You left alone without any Wi-Fi. Imagine that. Nice and peaceful. What can you activate from inside of you? I'm all about self-empowering other people. Leading them back to their real, true, raw, organic, authentic self their own unique gifts and abilities, their role, you know, awakening, the remembering of their real, true cosmic history records from within them, not me telling them. About empowering other people and how would you do this? So anyway, uh, more details are below. So, 1441, Esa, Shana, Tena, Kanasu, Nukunun, just fully let go, really. Trusting God, fully letting go, surrendering. Really, is this so crazy? This is truly what all of this is all about. This is you at one with the Godhead, knowing that you are eternal. The starborn were born. The cosmic Christ returned. You have never been born. You do not die. You are pure consciousness in a body, reimagining itself all the time. You need to fully transcend a separate Ego self, the false monkey mind, all of these programs, all of these false spiritual selves we have been dreaming up. Okay, it's all laughable at highest God's source level. Okay, so the activation we, we will be doing will be so, um, focused on like their huge emerald heart awakenings unfolding, completing interdimensional stargate activations our atom body and body multidimensional selves again everybody activates whatever they are ready for and have already cleared and activated and aligned with as it should be and again we are here to show everyone in showtime how ascension is truly done and those that are awakening to the truth that they have been serving the false light whilst they have accused others of doing that so these false projections, please hold them in light. Because if you don't and you go double down, you end up as, you know, um, what's the word? Covert narcissist. You know, if you double down on the victim, like this is like you understand we're all mirroring. As long as you no longer take the shit and false projections, it's all good. Because you understand those that have been projecting upon you, the same happened to them. It keeps happening. And now this false mirror universe, inversions, reversals, fully clear, dissolve in the field. It's so done. Just let it all go. Okay? Let go of the judgment. Let go of right, wrong, good, bad. Because once you truly understand that all of your mistakes, all of your experiences, what they all are, are there to, to fulfill the divine purpose of the one, experiencing everything in all ways, shapes, and forms. And if you take the identity out of it, the judgment, the dismay, the all of this projectional shit, okay? You're left with just pure consciousness. You see the big picture that heals all, where you see that everything has served the great divine plan of God. But when you're in resistance and judgment, when you are in a fight and flight mode of what is, yeah, you can't get there. Pure presence gets you there, just watching what you're feeling, Fears, doubts, various insecurities are not real. They're not based in real truth, real true consciousness. They are, they are part of the reversals. So when you feel and think them, just watch and observe them from the God perspective. Feel them because it's your part to clear them. Don't disassociate. This is a very fine line to walk. 
Yeah, you don't so disassociate the touch from your feelings because you need to feel them in order to burn the shit off from your body, your cellular memory, these foreign timelines, memories. So they no longer keep looping. So once you take the separate false ego self that's been seeing everything the wrong way upside down, okay, you know what I mean, you can see clearly again, there's no more judgment, but there's just full responsibility and accountability to be taken for anything that went wrong because we're going back to the start to start all over over again with, with a real fresh mind, beginner's mind, the canvas wiped fully clean, a new multidimensional green screen, green screen where we can project literally anything we can imagine upon. And who's the one dreaming, imagining anyway, especially once you fully surrender to source, it's source, dreaming reality through you because it needs your projector self, your multidimensional liquid light technology. Now, anyway, I need to cut this short. More in that book called so much more, so much more. Um, if we make it, it's in the field, you have access, okay? But I also am here to help you get there more quickly and remember that you hold the access to your own part and piece of the new cosmic history records, our true cosmic remembering, like cosmic contact, as if it was never any different. We don't need a fucking guidebook for this shit. It's you remembering eternally merging sinking sliding into that version of you parallel existing right now right here where everything everyone is returned to its true original essence of beingness knowing themselves as one with god as if it was never any different because this reality so far has been just a small part of your consciousness of the one god self projecting itself into this false inverted reality but all of this other stuff we've been reclaiming activating unifying merging with is coming fully online your full multidimensional fully already ascended diamond about herself and it seems like not much is happening whilst you keep you know rinse repeating clear integrate upgrade expand contract all of these steps expand contract expand contract which is a huge part of you becoming a being of fully integrated polarity where you hold hold both states of polarity at the same time, in total neutrality, as if God would see it, and this allows it a state of non-judgment, non-resistance, non non-fight, flight, freeze, to collapse the highest quantum possibilities, realities into existence. Now, again, if you want to dive deeper and take part in some really powerful activations calls, um, on the 8th especially, the detail is below. Now I want to just do a very quick light language activation. So just for a moment, just sit down, lay down with your back straight. Feel your central column, your central cross formation, your rods, your rod and star codes fully merged as one. I'm going to say good butterfly pattern. Feel your wings your multidimensional avatar self, your diamond sun god and rainbow plasma light body, your eternal ankh and atom body fully igniting, the Christ and Merkaba, and that of earth, the Albion body, the plasma light body fully igniting, every carbon atom becoming crystalline, crystalline liquid light, all of creation, every being, every world, every kingdom return to its original divine blueprints plus upgrades fully expanded. Mushuna, Nanasena, Kalatenu, Kunusuna, Tanasena, Kalapa, Yunusuna, Nanate, Eru, Nunusuna, Nanate, Kunuturu, Tunuturu, Tunuturu, Tunuta, Nesanana. Thank 
Kuru sono kuna tana 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 ina kina te es roko to kuro to kuro to kuro es es nakrate na te. No sono kuna te kara te kara te kara te kara es no kuro to kuro to ya no sono kana te ya te es sono na 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 ku i uno sono ta i no sono te i no to ku. Io non sono una terra, non sono una terra, non sono una terra, non sono una terra. Billy Hall, Marco Genetic Field, The Own Cosmic Egg, and Death of the Cosmos, Planetary, Galactically, Universally, Fully Merged, Sealed Heels. The Sphere of Amenti, the original divine blueprint of the one cosmic Christ, the new cosmic citizen, the Christus Sophia, the new androgynous theogamic blueprint, fully ignited, fully realigning, harmonizing, balancing, merging, unifying all worlds, all beings, all kingdoms as one, fully resetting, every cell, every atom, every atomic, subatomic particle and wave and all the spaces in between. Every photon, every molecule, right down to the mitochondria, all of creation, fully igniting the perfect proton seed of 13 protons, 12 electrons, 13 neutrons, fully clearing, healing all layers and levels of creation of all lower energies, frequencies. Entities, vibrations, sound and light field stones, sounds, rays, waves, limiting programmings and beliefs, all mind control programming fully dissolved now from within the one consciousness. All layers and levels of creation, our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies, and that of the one cosmic Christ, cosmic monad, fully reset, fully healed, fully rehabilitated, fully absorbed. Reset, rebirth. Unu kuna sara. Ina sena kete na takrai. Ina sena tukuno tukuro tukuro sukuno sukra. Isha na te kina te. Ta, yusu na e na e. Shiu. Shiu. Usu kara. Te na te na te. Te su na e na ke ra te ke ra te ka. Su na e na. Feel your sacred crystal diamond rose and lotus heart and the emerald within it fully igniting. Cosmic heart network fully connected, fully online. The new telepathic network of the emerald crystal diamond rose heart interdimensionally connecting us as one tribe. One cosmic family, unifying all as one again. The totality of the singularity for unifying all as one, right here, right now, in no time whatsoever. Time is so. Shukuru. Sunate na kena se no kuno tokuru. Yasunate ani. He sunate ati. Ke te 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 tu no tu. Tu sunu tu na kada te e na yana kada shukuru tu. Kada ta aisht, 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 ashana. Nashana ni ek, 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 ek rata karata. Mukunu tukra eishna narata karata. Any remaining distortions, interference patterns will you dissolve now? You start first. As we know them for what they are, we no longer entertain. Freedom, our attention, time, life force, fully reclaiming all parts of the one true self. Right here, right now. Usukura Shekanat. Our true God given power, fully ignited, fully remembered as all as one, cosmic family reconciled, reunited, celebrating. Our cosmic divine hierogamic reunion, all as one. Usukuro, Shanatinati, Kenakara, 
ne na sana, ne na se, ke na to, koro to, kono sha, na te, ne su na na, no koro to. All wounds of persecution, suppression, oppression, abandonment, rejection, all fears fully dissolve around us speaking our real truth, being our real true, authentic self, fully transparent. Because if we have heart-to-heart, -heart, soul to soul conversations, free of judgment, our morphogenetic healed and that of the planet and cosmically soul fully heals now. As we remember that all starts and comes back to the one self, we, rec we reclaim all of our power, all of our gifts, all of our abilities all of our true wisdom and gnosis, the one true diamond avatar self, the new crystal Sophia, fully risen, fully ignited, the golden Christ child, the holy trinity and grail within, returning true eternal life, source flows currents, Paradisian and Edenic keys fully ignited now, returning our oh, heaven upon the earth, timelessly, through us. As our true ancient future memories fully ignite. Yena karatu kurusha, nena samate, ya kurata, ya sunate na kiate, sunu kurutu kurusho. The one true beloved, the one true God self, fully ignited, fully remembered, fully returned, fully risen. As we fully level all the way up, reclaiming all of our power. The love that we are, the wisdom that we hold, the Holy Trinity and Grail returned through us, through organic reality, fully ignited, the new divine organic creatrix field, fully remembered from the one self, fully returned now. Our new identic bodies and realities timelessly igniting throughout our every cell, Every atom of our beingness crystallizing into pure liquid light, pure beingness, energy, frequency, and vibration. Fully boundless, limitless, fearless and free. Yena karatera yushunu tu sunayanayu. Yena karata yenu suna yena tara. Cosmic hearts and minds wide open, fully ready to receive the infinite abundance, blessings and miracles that we are, and one with the Godhead. All fears fully dissolve in this now, along with the false fear matrix, the totality of the singularity, fully dissolving the quantum standing wave function of the false matrix simulation as the illusion and the dream that it was. Yasha Karati, Sinukunanta, Yesana, Ya Akara, Sukur Eshta, Sta. Eshanaka. Feel, feel the diamond white flame of purification, illumination, ascension radiating from your sacred diamond crystal rose lotus and emerald heart, connecting as one heart, mind, body, and soul with the cosmic monad interdimensionally. 
fully opening all willing heart minds to the true divine love that all is, has all been created from, and all returns to. Seka, Yeshuna, Yena, Neta, Yukurutu, Sunata. Feel your whole morphogenetic field, that of the planet, galactically, universally, cosmically so. Cosmic egg of the golden Christ child, fully filled with pure, true divine love, the frequency of purity, divinity, harmony, balance. Pure beings, pure oneness, love, peace. Nenu kuru sunata, yena kirati, yenu sun, yanata, yenu yukuru kunu tena tene sana nena kirai, yenu tunu sunate. As the past memories, it is all in this space now. Then you can fully arise, fully ignited within this empty space. Unuta Shena Yenak Yenukuru Sanai. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is. The one true self, the diamond avatar, fully rising, fully leveling up within us all, within the one true self. Your multidimensional self, all your soul aspects, fragments, energies fully returned. Fully merged with, fully integrated, feeling fully whole, fully worthy. In love with your real true self, just as you are perfectly imperfect. If you wait for perfect, you wait forever. Just start where you're at. Just do it, okay? No longer afraid of what anyone thinks. No more judgments as you stop judging yourself and others. And um, see the miracles happening. Okay, I leave it here. Um, details are again below if you want to take this further in the group call on the 8th or the replay. It will be very potent. It's already in the field. I think you can feel this. Something massive is about to shift and change and happen. What I cannot say exactly, but this is where realities shift for good, for real, forever. Ena kira se eshtarata. Because again, those who have committed grave crimes against humanity have already digged their own graves, so to say, as well as there's nobody dying here. So remember, whatever happens right now from here on in, it's all a show. You're watching a movie. This is not real. Okay. And those who really get what I'm talking about, they know we came here in order to help everybody get all the way home as easily, quickly and gracefully as we possibly can, okay? And remember, remember, anything is truly possible now as long as you believe it is. And truly, as you fully surrender to God, it's God dreaming through you. All new free quantum realities, the new Eden, our new paradise, heaven and earth, it's here now, it's a remembering, it's written into your DNA timelessly. It has nothing to do with time, it really hasn't. It's a frequency. When you take time, space out of it, all of these false constructs, it's just frequency alignment. As you align, all aligns for you. Because everything is a reflection of what you truly, deeply, deep down believe to be true, again, from within the collective. And again, I will dive more deeply into this in the call on the 8th, on the Saturday. If we haven't fully lifted up and are flying and teleporting by then, and having a whole lot more fun than doing this online. Um, any um, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, if you found this really helped you, the activation, and you would like to give back to me in the form of energy exchange, 
uh, in the form of donation, any which way, truly. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much for everyone who truly just does appreciate what I'm sharing um, and also supports me back to keep this Prislin River flowing, amplifying, multiplying, because we really need to balance out the scales right now, okay? Especially between the masculine and feminine. This is what this new hierogamic androgynous blueprint of the Crystal Sophia is all about. And But at this point, we don't need a masculine or feminine you know, partner in our lives in order to feel balanced, it's happening in your own field. And again, this is what I talk about and what for me Ascension is truly all about, us becoming beings of fully integrated polarity. This is what a lot of my group calls and the cosmic updates have been all about. So look back at them if you want some extra support at this point, because yeah, it's going to get very rocky on Starship Earth until we've shaken off all the remaining parasites for good, for real, forever. Woohoo! And I'm fully back home, tangibly. But this is when this happens. This month, this now, it's beyond any freaking linear time. These are all just marker points, as well as this has been so done, as well as we are keep making it happen whilst we still need to use linear language. And look at this bullshit. But you need to understand most of this is fucking fake reality to fully transcend it, dissolve it. All right. Again, join me if you want. Details below. Otherwise, I'll see you if I'm meant to see you when I'm supposed to see you. Everything perfectly aligned within the quantum field, the dream field, okay? Keep tuning in to the real reality where everything is already fully healed, ascended, returned to its original state of beingness, essence of the one true eternal authentic self. No longer afraid to be who you truly are, what you really feel and think, no longer no longer lying to yourself or anyone else. This is what returns real, true, organic reality. This is you being your real, true, organic, real, natural self. Imagine that. It's quite easy. It's not complicated. It really isn't. I mean, again, connect to your own God self to ask, what is ascension truly about? How do I get here, get here, there? which is right inside of us. This is where you shapeshift reality from, especially now, as all these imagined concepts, boxes, parameters, limits no longer exist, as you let your imagination, the monkey mind fully free, fully surrendered, fully dissolved, lost, at sea or wherever you want it to be lost, the only thing that would be lost there, okay? Dissolve it, clear it, become at one with the God mind, at one with the divine crazy, crazy in love, divine ecstasy, okay, pure love bliss. But you need to let everything all the way go. You need to make peace, bring it into full true coherence, see the big picture. Um, and again, if you want help with this, join the call. Um, a Q&A is part of this. And I always try and get back to all of the questions as much as I can, but it's not always possible. Anyway, it will be cleared out, realigned, coming out in the wash, crystalline clear, crystalline clarity, fully returning through us, the God mind, okay, received your brain, crystal palace is supposed to receive and transmit this cosmic God source consciousness. It's not you sitting there trying to figure it out, working hard and your brain going up in smoke and falling apart, hurting, okay? So this is the end of pain and suffering, truly, okay? Allow it to happen as you let go of your attachment to this false reality. People place things, that's what's causing the suffering and pain ultimately. As you see reality for what it truly is, you are at one with all, and this is where you know every, any anything, everything is always possible. Now we came here to med make the magical shit and shift happen, quantum style. Okay, it's not linear. Okay, I leave it here. So much love, so many blessings, more to follow uh, soon, unless I see you dancing at the campfire. It truly is time. And we've already so are uh, building it quantum style right now and completing our preparations. The Feast of Plenty is here now. I hope you can feel it, attune to this, align with this via your consciousness frequency. Okay, up all the way in across the finish line, so to say, 
the portal into all new free worlds as you walk, as you face the fear, walk through it and know it's never been really real, which includes the fears, the doubts, the worries, the insecurities. It's a false version of self. See it for what it is. Just don't argue with it. Don't fight it. Don't try and kill it. Just observe it. See it for the falsity that it is, anything else that is, to fully dissolve it. And again, we talk more about how we do this, dissolving and co-creating realities, quantum realities in no time whatsoever through our power of imagination. Imagine that. Okay, so much love. So many blessings. Enjoy. This is a very freaking fucking powerful weekend moment right now, right here. Make it fucking count. If not now, then when? If not us, then who? Okay? No longer waiting, no more savior, no more rescuing, no more nothing. It's just full empowerment, God sovereign and free. As we come together as that, that's where the magic happens. This is what all of this has been about. This is how we amplify and multiply infinitely. The blessings, the abundance, the love the power, the truth, the wisdom that we are and came to return. Freeing, liberating all, because it's really the real truth that liberates and frees us all when we know what the fuck has really going, been going on. Okay, no more fucking confusion. Just clarity. And it's coming now, one way or another. That's for sure. Okay, I leave it here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Bye, bye, bye.